Hey everybody, it has definitely been a minute since I've made a video for you guys, but I'm back. I have another guide for you as requested by a few people, and it's going to be over Nest. Things like his combos, just his neutral, everything like that, even kind of, kind of some of the sneakier things he can do. Uh, this video was requested by two different people. There was Diego Mungia, I hope I said that right, and then I, there's no way I'm going to say this one right, but it's Kindo, or Kind, Wanna, and then <laughs> like basically a B and some slashes and a D. Um, no idea how to say that, but... I always, or I have seen you comment in the past for this video, so we have it here today. As always, I'll put the combo timestamp in the video right around here. That way, if you guys don't really care about the guide so much or anything like that, you just here for the nest combos, feel free to skip ahead. It does not bother me in the least. But without further ado, let's start the video. For those of you who have watched future guides, you know I can start with the basic stuff, things like your tilt, your dash attack. And yes, even taunts. So we're going to cover taunts first. Up taunt, side taunts, and down taunt. So the reason why I cover taunts, because somebody actually mentioned it earlier, is because I've had requests for them in the past, so I'm not just going to ignore them. And if you guys do have requests, I'm more than happy to take them, so feel free to put them in the comments if you do. But here are your tilts. You have your up tilt. Comes out at frame 5. Could be good for juggling, does combo itself in. However, it's got a very strange hitbox. It won't hit very close, as you can see. I'm pretty close to Joker, but nothing happens. But right on top, the hitbox is on Ness's body as well as his hands, which can lift and combo into itself, which is very nice. You have your forward tilt. This is actually a pretty good move. It doesn't look like much. It comes out at frame 7. However, around higher percents, especially on the edge, around, let's put him do 100, because that seems to be like typical kill percent for most people. You can forward tilt somebody and practically almost kill them. So feel free to use that and see if you can take a stock. Um, you know, trip your opponent up with it. Sometimes they just don't see it coming. You also have your down tilt, which I think is a very solid move. It's Ness's fastest tilt, comes out at frame three, along with his jab, which also comes out at frame three, as you see there. But down tilt is this, this little tiny kick. It's good for quite a few things, or quite a few things. If your opponent manages to miss a tick, you can hit them with it and kind of jab lock them with it. Instead of going for a jab, it'll do a little bit more damage than a jab, usually around 5%. As you see there, you can also combo it into itself, as you see there. Um, it's a little bit hard to kind of combo out of, but you can always throw out like a forward tilt and kind of back them off you once you get your damage. And it even manages to combo on ledge pretty gross. Like, it's just kind of nasty that you can hold your opponent there. Maybe if you know they're going to do a normal get up, you can wait for it and go <laughs> and get as much damage as you want. And last is the dash attack, which is a pretty decent move. It can kill around higher percents. Let's put our opponent to... Let's say 120. I don't think it'll kill, but it might. Uh, your dash attack is a frame 8 option. It's a little bit slow, but it does have multiple hitboxes, and sometimes your opponent just forgets about it, so it can be quite useful. So here's what it looks like. Yeah, just it's just a decent move. It's, it's not too crazy. You will get punished if you manage to do it and your opponent shields it, but it's still a pretty solid option for a dash attack. Let's get into Ness's throws now. We have four different throws, all that can be kind of useful in their own way. You have your forward throw, which basically is just your get off me option. You can use to get your opponent towards the edge and you can edge guard them or whatever you're going to do. It's just a decent like move. Not the strongest of his throws, but still a pretty solid option. You have your up throw, which can be a kill throw later on. It does do the most damage, so I suppose if you're just looking for the damage, that's the way to go. However, it's a little bit difficult to combo into and there are some better options. You have your down throw which normally sends them at just the right angle for you to do combos if you would like. Um, it's basically the throw you do when your opponent is at much lower percents, and then you can then combo into other things or try to catch your opponent in something. You know, whatever you want to do, really. There's a whole bunch of things you can do with that throw. Um, and then last but not least is <laughs> the throw that Ness is basically known for. This throw is the salt inducer. This is one of the reasons people do not like Ness. He happens to have a throw that kills extremely early and really just kind of infuriates a lot of people. Um, it's very rare that characters just have a really good kill throws, let alone one that can kill so early for so many characters. Um, I'm willing to bet on ledge this probably kills. Let's put him at 95 and see what happens. Um, kind of reminds me of me too. Yeah, it's still really no problem killing. Uh, yeah, just a very, very solid back throw that can kill very early on a lot of people. Shielding will get you grabbed, and grab will lead to back throw, and then you lose a stock. So, uh, yeah, just those are, uh, those are Ness's throws and grabs. 
Time to cover the smash attacks. Ness has pretty good smash attacks, I'm not gonna lie. They're pretty useful in different ways. Your forward smash is the slowest of all of them. It comes out at frame 21. However, not only does it do crazy damage and kill ridiculously early, it's also a reflect. So if your opponent, like maybe you're facing a Samus, if a Samus does a full charge shot, you as Ness can then hit it back to her and it'll probably kill and if they shield it'll just break shield it'll snap the shield in pieces but uh, yeah definitely a very very strong smash attack kills at 60 from basically mid stage if you can manage to hit it let me make sure i didn't charge it at all ah maybe i charged it a little bit but yeah it's it's still almost killed it's just a very strong move you have your let's put it to 100 so we can see once things start to kill you have your up smash which is the fastest comes out at frame 10 you can use it to hold your opponent in place and then lift them up you can use it to edge guard if your opponent's going low or something you know they're fixing maybe you're seeing if i got captain falcon they're going to up be the stage you can pretty much just hang it right there they'll catch them and eventually just lift them up and kill them uh you can also bring it around to you so you can hit them that way it's just a pretty good option your down smash is basically the same thing except the yo-yo is behind him and it sends at a different angle, so you can hang out the stage still right here if you want to, and your opponent will have a very difficult time uh, dealing with it. Make sure I can do this right. There we go. So, I'm pretty sure Joker can make that. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's what we're looking to do. So basically, you can edge guard with it, which is a pretty useful tool also. Time to cover Ness's aerials now. Ness has scary aerial. This is what makes this character so good. On top of already having pretty solid smash attacks and specials and everything like that, Ness has scary aerials. So I'll explain why in just a sec, but we're gonna start off with our neutral air, which is this. Just this kind of quick little flick of the wrist he does. Uh, that's decent damage. You can, kind of some, you can sometimes combo into yourself if you're quick enough. Your opponent's just not paying attention, but it doesn't really combo into itself. It's a pretty good get out of shield option, so if your opponent's fixing to hit you, you can just and float away. It comes out at frame 5, so it is pretty quick. You have your fair, which I'm sure you've seen quite a few times from Nest players. They like to string people on stage with it. It can combo into itself at certain percents. Um, what makes Ness, uh, what makes that move in particular so good is that it actually is just a very strange hitbox. It just floats right in front of Ness, making it very safe for him, and then he can then, if he happens to hit shield with it, he can just float away like this and just avoid the problem itself. Um, yeah, it, disjointed hitboxes are just Ness's specialty, and this just happens to be one of the best ones. The fact that he can pretty much do it into itself and keep dragging your opponent off stage with it is just more icing on the cake. And it is pretty solid coming out at frame 8 so it is a little bit quick too another move that comes out at frame 8 is Ness's up there which can kill pretty early and that's a ton of damage 18% off of just one up there is pretty gross and it can combo into itself at times and then you have your back here which is frame 10 it also does around 18% which is also scary and it is one of those moves that yes can kill very easily let me see if i can hit the head and get more damage there do, 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 do. well as you see it's practically killing around 100 yep there we go a little bit closer to edge no definitely will kill around 100 and then you have ness's down air which is his slowest and has a lot of starter flag on it he kind of does a little bit of an animation like he does a little bit of a, a spin before he does it which cost him in speed but it can kill very early does pretty decent damage and can combo into a few things as well so those are Ness's aerials by far some of the scariest things about him also keep in mind when playing Ness since you will be in the air a lot he's quite a floaty character um, as you can see here he, his best game plan is to stay in the air and do things not, not to say his ground game isn't horrible but his aerials just make his kit so much scarier um, one more thing I wanted to show you guys, just in case you actually are watching the guide, because I know a few of you guys just skip ahead, but some do watch the guide, which that's really cool. Ness has a very good, um, what's the word, an air dodge, like an air dodge kind of drift. So most characters, when they drift with air dodge, they don't really go very far. But as you see there, from just one jump and a drift, I end up all the way over here. So what does that mean? Well, I'm going to show you. So you can use your double jump, let me use one jump here, and my double jump. Most characters will not be able to make that back. But, since Ness has such a good drift, he can actually drift up to the stage. Meaning that even though you get rewarded for playing in the air with Ness and basically kind of controlling the sky, if you happen to perhaps drag your opponent too far off and you don't want to use your up B to recover or perhaps you just aren't a super 
you aren't super comfortable using your up B to recover, because I know a lot of new players just aren't, you can just drift back to stage like that and never, I don't really have to worry about, you know, using that, which is very good. So just another like helpful hint for you guys or tip for you guys. We arrived at Ness's special moves. These are definitely icons in the Smash community. Each one is kind of, kind of I don't know how to describe it, kind of like has this nostalgic kind of feel to it where everybody recognizes them. They're all very good options, or I'm going to say most of them are. A few of them, maybe not so much, but Ness has some of the scariest special tools. Most people, when they think of Ness, think of Ness's special moves because of just how either frustrating or how good or how annoying they are, depending on if you're playing against Ness or if you are playing as Ness. So let's not waste any time and get into these bad boys. We have our PK Flash. Um, very slow move, but that's a ton of damage. Honestly, you won't get much, much use out of that unless maybe you are attempting to edge guard an opponent on ledge with it. So, uh, example, I'll try to push Joker over here. Maybe he's trying to grab ledge or something. You can kind of dip it a little bit low, catch them on their recovery. You could do that, or you could just, you know, do the yo-yo thing we talked about. Uh, but it does net a lot of damage. It can kill pretty early. We do have our... <laughs> I'm kind of waiting to show it. Uh, we do have our down B. This actually absorbs projectiles. Or not absorbs projectiles. Like it kind of absorbs energy. Sorry, you can't absorb projectiles, but you can absorb absorb things like charge shot or fire or something like that. Energy, electricity, Ness can absorb it. Things like missiles, like things like Samus has, like a missile, you cannot absorb that, so be very careful. However, the explosion of the missile, you will be able to absorb, so just keep that in mind. You can also do some damage up close with it, and you can even extend or start combos with it. Uh, let's go with extend. I don't know about start. Or maybe you could. I bet you could if you just happen to get, like, yeah, there you go. I guess you could definitely do a combo starter with it if you wanted to. It's just good because it covers all the way around Ness, and you can even stall in air with it. So if your opponent thinks you're fixing to land on him, you can go, nope, and kind of, like, stop your momentum really quick. Or uh, change your direction, or whatever you're going to do, really. It's just, it's a really solid tool, despite looking kind of, eh, <laughs> from, like, a perspective, from, like, a first-time perspective. Um, we have our up B, which isn't your typical up B. It is basically a, an electric shockwave that kind of moves around Ness. You can control it with your stick. And as you see, when, when it gets close to Ness, a little arrow kind of pops up. That's indicating the direction he will go if you happen to hit yourself with it, which looks like that. Um, very scary option. It kills very, very early if you manage to hit yourself with it, as you saw there. Be very mindful. Once you do it, you will go into free fall. So you have to do, do it off stage and miss, you're probably going to die. <laughs> so be very, very careful, but it's a very useful tool as well for edge guarding. Or if you don't want to chase your opponent in the air, maybe you're just not really about trying to follow them all the way up. You can always just send it up to chase them. And it will kill at much higher percents. And last but not least, certainly not least, is the move that I'm sure causes people to have nightmares. Is rage inducing, is salt inducing, that kind of stuff. Look at that little, little, little boy. Yeah, <laughs> it's PK fire. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. I'm sure you all are aware, it just holds your opponent in place depending on where you place the actual fire and can net a lot of damage very quickly. You can always spam it and stack it on itself, which if you do that, you're a monster, but <laughs> you can absolutely do that. Typically speaking, the kind of the more center of the character where you put it, like if you were to put it, I suppose on Joel, or Joker's shoulders, that'd be where you want it to go because if you do that the fire will slowly drop and hold them in place oh, secondary, but see, as you see they're actually combos whereas if I put it on the legs not so much but he still holds them in place pretty well it's good either way but maybe practice learning how to actually catch him with it because that's where all your combo stuff comes from so you can basically hold them in place and then do something else or whatever you're gonna do and as I said before, yes, it absolutely does hold in place. And it's just a nightmare for a lot of new players as well as good players, but, you know, pretty active competitive players. It's just a move they hate to hear. Uh, when they hear that sound of his voice saying PK Fire, it's, it is rage inducing. But those are uh, Ness's special moves. And on to the combo portion of the video. Actually, wait, before we get to the combo portion of the video, let me go a little bit more in depth with Ness's up B because I know a lot of people struggle with that move, especially first time playing Ness. 
um, when you're doing it, as I said before, you will see the arrow kind of above this or around this that indicates where you will be going. It's just creating circles, guys. It seems very difficult at first to kind of get the angle down, but it's just creating circles and figuring out where you're going to end up being. Um, it, at first, yes, it's a little difficult, but over time, it'll just become second nature, and you'll be able to make it back pretty effortlessly. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them, but other than that, just keep in mind, it's just making circles. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it to you. If you want to kind of delay it, you can always kind of bring it further out and try to lift up like that. But other than that, it's just going to be one of those things where over time you will get a feel for it. So I'm sorry if that's not the best explanation for that move. But that's really all it is. But anyway, on to the combos now. We have made it to the combo portion of the video. I truly do love showing you guys these combos. It's cool to hear when you guys figure out something that works or when you get a combo down that you might have been struggling on. It's always awesome to hear about you guys getting success and all kinds of stuff. I love hearing about it in the comments. So I have quite a few number of combos I'm going to show to you guys today. I'm really excited to you know show you. Hopefully you guys can get most of them down. Um, I know a few of them are a little bit difficult, but nothing should be you know super advanced at least. There are a few that might give you trouble, but not that many. So, first one I'm going to show you is kind of a really flashy one. Um, I don't like looking at the combo counter for this one because more often than not, it is true. And for whatever reason, the combo counter doesn't read it as true sometimes. But it is, and it's one of those flashier things Ness can do. So, what you're going to do is you're going to do a fair to a down B, and then you're going to go into your spike. So, yes, it is a spike combo. Very flashy indeed. It will take a little bit of time to get used to. But probably if after a few minutes of practice, you should have it down in no time. So here we go. Here's what it looks like. There you go. Let's try it one more time and try to actually recover just so you can show you you can recover this. There you go. And that's what it looks like. As you see, I took Joker from basically 20 all the way to death, and he couldn't survive it just because Ness has such a powerful dare, it will kill. Um, your opponent, I believe, can jump out of it after the side magnets, but more often than not, they're a little bit <laughs> late on the draw and you can spike them. And even if you don't, at least you can recover back to stage, which, you know, at least you're getting some damage. But hopefully you can land that spike and take a very early stock, and yes, it is very, very flashy. So that is your very first combo. This next combo is going to make use of our up air. We're going to use it basically four times in a row, starting with a falling up air, and we're going to net a lot of damage from 0%. So we're going to do a falling up air and do basically three more up airs. So here's what it's going to look like. As you see there's 12 hit combo, 46% from zero. That's pretty nasty. Um, you can also, if you want to, you can kind of freestyle it. Maybe you don't want to go for like up air, up air, up air, up air. Maybe you want to do something else. You can do maybe a uh, a falling up air to up air, to like back air, try to catch him on something. And you know, just do whatever you want. Do whatever you feel comfortable. But you don't have to just do up air. You can go up air and up air and up air. Um, really, just whatever you want. But that's basically what the setup is: is using your falling up air to set up into more damage. But for me personally, the quadruple up air, from what I remember, does the most damage. There is some staling behind the move because you're using it four times in a row, but it still nets you around a good amount of damage. If you want to get your opponent off the ledge, probably doing up air into fair into fair is probably the best way to go though. Next combo is also going to make use of your up air fall or your falling up air setup. We're going to do a falling up air into double up tilt. That's the true part of the combo. Typically, you can also make the nair true if you're just able to time it really, really well. Um, more often than not, the combo reader does not read it, but you can usually do a nair after your double up tilts, and then sometimes you can follow it up with a back if your opponent's just not ready for it. So here's what's going to look like. Also, when you do the setup for the up air, you do not want the final hit of up air to hit. So for instance, if it looks like this, you did it wrong. Okay? If your opponent pops up in the air like that, that's not what you want. You kind of want to fall into it and have them still land next to you. If it helps, think about as soon as you start hitting them, drag the stick down. If you, if, you know, so Ness basically ends up ducking like this. So here's what's going to look like in full. Oh, I messed that one up. I'll try that again. I did it again. I promise it's not that hard, guys. 
There you go. So the nair and the back air are the only parts that you could consider not true. The nair is debatable for me because I can't see how it's not true. Like, I guess your opponent could jump out of that or something and avoid it, but no one ever does. So uh, I guess you could always miss the jump too. But the back air definitely isn't true. Um, that's just kind of reading the direction that they're going. So again, only up air to up tilt, and then everything else is just a bonus if you can get it. But if you do manage to get it, look how much damage that is. That's kind of ridiculous. But again, it is falling up there to double up tilt for around 28%. Everything else is the bonus. Here's another combo for you guys to get you early damage quick. So it's going to be using your PK fire into your fair, or you could do an up air, I suppose, out of the second PK fire. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing PK fire into PK fire. <laughs> I'm sure that sounds like awful already pk fire into pk fire and then into double fair the catch is though you do not want to do it on the ground you want to come at it from above or at least in the air so you're going to do a short hop into double pk fire so here's what it's going to look like i'm going to show you different variants just in case you guys want to do those also so there's your first variant if the easy 52 percent 24 hit combo on to the next one All right, and that one is a 30 hit combo where I actually substituted in my first fair for a third PK fire. So that one's a triple PK fire in the fair. Here's another one. That one was double PK fire into up air. And let's do one more. All right, and that one was double PK fire into up smash. I don't suggest going for your forward smash because your opponent is usually kind of hovering in the air. Um, but if you can manage to get it, that's, that's pretty good. I'm gonna try it really quick to see how it happens. I don't think it'll be true if I get it though. Yeah, see, you have your opponent basically is scooting back what the same time elevated. So your forward smash, which would have been like a really, really good ender because it would kill super early, just isn't gonna cut it. So. Hopefully you can make use of those PK fire combos, and now we're on to the next one. Next combo is going to be one you can use to help take stocks. There's multiple ways you can end this combo, but pretty much just one way to start it. You're going to use your dare, and you have plenty of options to use afterwards. I'll show all of them here in a second. Um, let's put our opponent to around, you can put them over 85, but I'm going to put them at 85 just to show you how lethal this combo can be once you get towards that percent. So. 85, oh look, there's our sound. Uh, 85, we're going to go for a dare while our opponent's on the ground. I'm going to follow up with either an up air, a nair, or a back air. Because I think the up air has its close chance of killing. I know the back air will. The nair will not kill, but it will definitely guarantee a combo for us. So here we go. So there's dare to up air. Almost killing. Maybe if we had our opponent around 90, it would. But almost killing. We got our... Dare to back air. That would definitely kill if we hit the other direction. Let's try that. Let's try that out. Yep, there we go. Dare to back air. Definitely killing. And we got a dare to nair, which will not kill, but it was still net damage. I do not think you can hit a dare too fair, but I'll try it. I've looked into it before. It's like a very weird angle. Oh, well, you know, it just it's just not the best option, though. It'll be the most uncomfortable option as well as the one that nets the least amount of damage. But I guess you could do follow-ups afterwards, so let's see. Maybe, nah, it's, it's just uncomfortable. You can basically back up just to do it, and yeah. Don't do that one, guys, but you could, if, you could if you wanted to, but don't do that. I suggest sticking with either your dare to up air at high percents, or higher percents, that way you can at least kill off a dare, or your dare to back air, which seems to net a pretty early stock if you're not bad like me don't miss it even though it didn't read combo i promise it is we already saw it once let's try one more time oh nope come on i know it combos there we go yeah so definitely do a dare to up air or dare to bear and that'll probably net you a stock around 85 percent on characters with the weight of joker on heavies maybe get a little bit more damage put them around like 90 95 to 100 and you should be okay I wouldn't be showing you guys combos if they hadn't worked for me in the past at least. And this one, while it's extremely derpy and definitely meme worthy, for whatever reason it works really well. So we're going to make use of our down tilt and that's about it. <laughs> down tilt is our combo tool. 
Um, I suggest doing it when your opponent is, if you've conditioned them to kind of normal get up, or if you've noticed all they do is normal get up, you can kind of hold shield right here. Uh, they'll do the normal get up or whatever, or if they're over in the corner, you can basically just down tilt them to death. I don't mean just going for 20%. Like, look here, let's, I'll give you an example. You just mash down tilt, and you end up with, like, that was like 50 at one point, right? Let's see. I had it go to a little bit over 70 a long time ago, but... Okay, so right there. Let's say it's right there. So we got our opponent to 63 <laughs> off of one move. So what we're going to follow it up with is we're going to use our down tilt multiple times. And we're either going to nair, because it's one of our faster options, or we're going to uh, forward tilt. Kind of bat them away. Now, at times, I have seen it work where you can down tilt into forward smash. And the person's just not ready for it. But that that's a rare thing that's not really going to happen. You are much more likely to do like down tilt into nair and kind of bat them away at the end of it or down tilt in the fair and kick them away so what it's going to look like on the corner catch them down tilt Ooh, and there's that forward smash but as you saw there like it basically was an instant kill down tilt into forward tilt or down tilt in the nair and it kind of you can hear my buttons probably mashing it's just a lot of tapping but it works i wouldn't be showing if it didn't work so that's a super super easy cheesy combo that you could do to net a ton of percent for basically doing very minimal work next combo we're gonna do next combo we're gonna do is going to involve a grab to throw um there are other nest combos you can do with grab and throw stuff it's usually like down throw into fair the fair train which is really basic but this is going to be a little bit more advanced we're actually going to use kind of like a drag down so what we're going to do is we're going to do our falling up air, miss the last hit, and if we hit up air completely, it's going to launch our opponent upwards like that. We do not want that. We want them to kind of just slowly come back down with us like that. We're going to grab, pummel if we have to, for more damage, and back throw. So here's what that's going to look like. There we go. Very easy. The opponent can't shield it. They're stunned from the hit of up air, and you get the kill. Come on if you need the damage. Alright, on to the next one. This next combo is going to involve our dare. Yes, another spike combo, but this one's going to be kind of near the edge. It will definitely earn you a very early kill if you can manage to pull it off. It's going to be PK fire on ledge into dare. So here's what it's going to look like. Oh, missed it. Try it again. Didn't really jump at all there. There we go. Into dare. One more time. It's kind of hard to get it out of PK fire, but a little bit of practice goes a long way. So there is your next combo. And on to the next one. This next combo is going to be a jab lock setup. I actually really do like this combo because you can do whatever you want out of it or in it. Pretty much change it up however you want, which is really cool. I like when you can be creative with your combos. But I'm going to show you the most basic way to do it. So, you need your opponent around 30 to 50% for this to work because you're going to use your Nair to kind of knock them down. And when you use your Nair to knock them down, they have the opportunity to tech. However, if they miss the tech, you can then follow up with a down tilt or a down B or a jab or whatever you want to do to lock them in place and then quickly hit them with a forward smash. So, here's what that's going to look like if we do it right the first time. Oh, as I say, we mess it up. It's always like the first time. One, two. Uh. That right there was a Nair to miss tech into two down tilts and the forward smash. One of the easiest ones, I think. You could also be creative and try something like this, where it's Nair, down tilt, down tilt, PK fire, run up, and then baseball bat or something. You can just, you know, be creative, guys. You don't always have to just do what I tell you. Um, if you want to take a part of my combo and manipulate it and change it up a little bit, that is really cool. I love hearing when people can figure out different things and they don't always just stick to the rule book basically but yeah so that is that combo for you guys second to last combo is gonna be one that just nets you a good amount of damage works anywhere from zero to usually 40 percent on most characters all we are going to do is we're going to use a dare into an up smash so here's how it's going to look like you got your dare and the up smash if you hold it You'll get a, a, a couple more hits and a couple more damage. You don't have to hold it. Bro. Oh, you need to land in front of him, bro. There you go. See, you don't have to hold it if you don't want to. At higher percents, the opponent will probably bounce off the ground. That's okay. Your up smash will still be able to connect with them. So, again, all it is, dare to up smash. Let's 
try that again. Oh, he went way higher than I thought. <laughs> Yeah, so 36% off of basically one strike. That's pretty nice. All right, guys, we made it to the final combo in the video. If you guys made it this far, leave the words red cap in the comments. I always like to see, you know, just who made it this far in the videos. Because these are long videos. It takes a while to sit through. So it's always cool to know people were able to. But anyway, the last combo is a pretty simple one. It's just netting you more damage at low percents. It's going to be back air to dash attack. Yes, we are finally going to use the dash attack. So here is what it's going to look like. Simple as that. It takes a little bit of timing just to get the dash back as soon as you land, but 32% is nothing to scoff at. And uh, yeah, just really simple to pull off after you practice it a little bit. But that is it for the video today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, sitting through these videos. I know they're long and it's it can definitely take time out of your day, but I really do appreciate when you guys watch this. I love hearing all the positive feedback you guys give. It's really cool. Um, thank you again for Diego Muni or I'm gonna mess his name up again. Diego Mungia and Kinda Wanna Be. I'm just gonna say Kinda Wanna Be because I can't say that last part. Uh, thank you again to Diego and Kinda Wanna for requesting this video. I hope it helps out a few of you guys. If you happen to watch this video, Diego or Kinda Wanna, I will definitely highlight your comment so other people can thank you for suggesting it if they help them out. But as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more.